365 days, 365 messages God has in store for you in each day. Great is our God, written by Fernando Salala. Come, join us. Let's see what God has in store for you today. Hello, friend. We're so glad that you joined us today. Happy Sabbath. Today is July 23rd, 2022. Our devotional for today is titled Gratitude with a capital G. Our scripture reading for today is taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 8. And it says, Freely you have received, freely give. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for this new day of life. We thank you because you give us free air. We don't have to think about breathing at all. It's just something that happens. We ask, Lord, that we notice all the little small things that you do in our lives and always have a grateful attitude. And from the blessings we receive, may we bless others as well. In your name we pray. Amen. According to Robert Emmons, there are two types of gratitude, one with a small g that basically consists of how grateful we feel when we receive blessings. The other, with a capital G, relates to the feeling of well-being we experience when we contribute to other people's happiness. What kind of gratitude do you experience most often? The one that is the product of what you give or the one that comes from what you receive? By the way, there is nothing wrong with receiving blessings and being thankful for them. The point is that, as the Lord Jesus himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive, according to Acts chapter 20, verse 35. Give what? Give how much? Today's verse gives us the answer. Freely you have received, freely give. Or as J.B. Phillips, modern translation says, give as you have received without any charge, whatever. A story that Cherry Horning Quarter told illustrates the point well. Cherry said that her father always carried a $100 bill with him just in case. We're talking about the 50s when that was a lot of money. One day, she and her father came across a woman who at first glance reflected her great need of help. A short conversation served to show that her husband had no job and the children had no food. If we had a hundred dollars, she said, my husband could go to the city and find work. Here's the hundred dollars, Cherry's father told her. As he held out the bill, the story says that the woman's husband got a job and was eventually able to set up a thriving business. On another occasion, Sherry said the $100 were received by a man looking for work who needed money to fill his vehicle's gas tank. He got the job and within a few weeks returned to pay back the money he had received. Do you know how you can pay me back? Sherry's father replied. Help someone in need with that money. There it is. Give as we have received. Can you imagine all the good that would take place? Love as God has loved, forgive as we have been forgiven, help the way others have helped us. In other words, gratitude with a capital G. As we meditate on today's devotional, let us pray. Dear Lord, prepare us today to be a channel through which your blessings flow to others. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. We're glad that you joined us today for the devotional. We pray that it has been a blessing to you. May God's love embrace you and may you feel his presence with you throughout this day. We pray that you can bless others. We'll see you later. Bye.